David Doe on the had spoken with Samuel King, and this is a message to make more highlights on the prophecy that was given to David Doe on the 7th of January through my Facebook account. And uh, before I would like to continue, I'd like to send my condolence message to the family of David Adeleke, who just lost his son, if I'm. I'm not here to show that I'm the best prophet on earth, which is one of the things I would like to be emphasizing in my prophecy highlight. When I give this prophecy on the 7th of January, I try to do some move to make some move, but of course, I am not among the so-called names of the big men of God in Nigeria who probably can speak to some celebrities. And if I had spoken, I would have been uh, called uh, one of the hungry prophets <coughs> looking for uh, Samuel King. If I had spoken, I would have been uh, called uh, one of the hungry prophets <coughs> looking for um, uh, looking for fame or trying to look for money. You know, in our days now, God is speaking, but many people have underrated and underestimated the word of God. So prophets have been abused because of a whole lot of things, misconception about spirituality, faith, and the prophetic. So I had to keep myself distance from trying to push because who would believe if I had said this was going to happen? And if you read that prophecy very clear, it said there are two clues. One has already been fulfilled. Two has already been fulfilled. The first is the death of David's son. And the first clue, there were two clues said T and Y. The T stands for Thursday. And if you see all the happenings happen around, if I had spoken, first day of David and it happened, his son, which happened on Thursday, the 20th. So that cannot be a coincidence. The last clear which is why is something i will not post i'm not going to say online out in this very confidence would like to pass this message to davido and his family there is something he needs to know i'm not out to get fame and i'm not meant to share this in public i did three days fasting in obedience to instruct uh, the prophetic word that was given to me on the 7th of January. I received that word seven days before the 7th, which was on the 1st January night after the crossover night. And I was scared day of the 7th, which was on the 1st January night after the crossover night. And I was scared to post it because I needed confirmations and I had it like three times. Davido, I know this is a hard time right now for you and your wife to be Choma. I know that a lot of clouds and people are around you, but I like you to hold yourself very strong and try to be in a place of prayer because the enemy is not happy about a lot of things that is happening in your life. I'll send and I'll try my best to see how to reach out to the family and to give you the last clue and tell you how you should pray about this. 2023 is another big year, but let it not be a mirror reflection of what has happened today. May the soul of your son rest in perfect peace. Now you will go to meet him. He will not come to meet you. Shalom.